We are getting a divorce. Alice, you're not pregnant with one baby. You're having four babies. The other two children didn't survive the birth. Man, have you seen Nate and Jenny? I don't think I know you. I have told you guys many times not to talk about your mother. Nate? Jenny? Were these the two babies that Alice had lost? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! You, you look, look just, just like, like us. us! Are you guys Nate and Jenny? Yes, that's us. So does that make you two? We're Matt and Beth. We're quadruplets? But mom told us that you guys died when we were born. Really? We didn't even know you guys existed. Dad never talked about us then? I don't think he knows. Well, what did he say about mom then? That she was a heartless woman who left us in the hospital. He doesn't like talking about her. What did mother tell you about father? Just that he was a horrible, mean old man who never loved her. She doesn't have a lot of nice things to say about him, to be honest. <sighs> they really don't like each other, huh? So what do we do now? Where could those two have run off to? This is no way to behave at a nice place like this. Nate? Jenny? No, it can't be. Mom! Nate, go get Sharon. No, you can't. Then our father will know. Our mom is unconscious. What are they doing? They're back at mom's table with Sharon. They're just sitting there like nothing happened. What are we gonna do now? Wait, mom is coming back to senses. Where am I? Come, we need to leave. But what about mom? She's fine. Remember what our siblings told us about her dad. We need to behave or he's gonna go crazy. Alice was left alone, sitting on the cold floor of a secluded hallway, wondering if she'd truly lost her mind. I must be seeing doubles. No more cocktails after red eyes. Oh my god. James? Alice quickly gathered herself and raced out. There you two are! After the stunt you both pulled earlier, you had me worried sick again. I was looking everywhere for you. Where were you two? We were just walking around. Okay, that's what I thought. Beth, we have to bring Mother back to us. Oh yes, Ma. I can't wait to be a family. Okay, head straight to bed, you two. I have to talk to Zeke about something important. Wait, hang back a moment. Look, I know these past few months have been rough. I know I've given you plenty of reasons to run away from home. I just want you both to know, I intend to make things right between us, okay? Thanks, Dad. I mean, Father. You promise, Father? I do, Beth. You know, I don't mind you calling me Dad. I'm not a priest, after all. <laughs> all right, off now. Nate, we have to bring Mom and Dad together. I don't know, Jen. I don't think he likes Mom one bit. <laughs> well, that's just tough luck for him. He promised he's going to make things right for him, and I have a plan to make him keep his promise. Zeke, I need you to do something for me. Anything, sir. This is probably one of the most important things I've ever tasked you with, and it has to remain top secret. If anyone found out what I was doing, it could spell big trouble. Especially Willa. She can't know. My lips are sealed, sir. Good. I need you to look into someone for me. Okay. Who? Can you get me the whereabouts of my ex-wife? Your ex-wife? What on earth do you want to do with her? Now's not the time. I either need you to do this for me or I can find someone who will. Absolutely, sir. Think nothing of it. I will immediately put all my sources at work. Soon, all her information will be at your desk. But sir, if you don't mind, may I ask why now? Has it not been 10 years since you requested that I burn every photo of her and scrub every trace of your relationship with her from the internet? What has brought about the sudden change? I have been asking the same question. Even though I had broken all ties with her, it seems like I'm still not emotionally detached from her. I always wondered what she's been up to ever since she abandoned our twins at the hospital. My twins. And then I saw her tonight. Tonight? Where? At dinner. I couldn't tell if she was intentionally trying to play tricks with my mind or not. 
I have no doubt that she is up to something. I need to figure it out before my children get hurt. You don't need to worry, sir. I am on it. Willa, what are you doing here? I drop by to check on the children regularly. I know how busy you can get, and I'm happy to be a part of their lives. I think the better question is, why are you acting this way toward me? Something happened tonight that I'm not sure how to comprehend. How well did you know Alice? Alice? As in Alice Grant? The woman you left me for. Yeah, right. I didn't hear from her for years after what happened in the hospital. Until recently, I heard a name making the rounds in certain business circles. About a skilled perfume scientist who was revolutionizing the game. Perfume? And science, together. How did she get into that? And as a perfume scientist, does that mean she has a doctorate? I would believe so. Does something about all this trouble you? I thought she wanted a clean break. For her to not tell me she was pregnant, only to leave our two children at the hospital and disappear off into the night, something about it does not sit well with me. I fear for Matt and Beth more than anything. You have security. What more do you need? Moreover, there is so much you should be focused on. So many more great things you should be doing. She placed her hand on his knee, then slid it up his thigh with a gentle squeeze as she seductively leaned into James's ear. There are so many more great things you could be doing. If only you would open up to me and let me be a part of your life. There are many things to attend to right now, Willa. I'm afraid whatever there is between us will have to wait. Thank you for stopping by, but I would like it if for right now you left. Here I am, sitting with you in your time of need, and you look to just cast me away. Like a piece of trash, a wrapper that you spit your gum into then flick into the garbage. Willa. No, James. I was there for you before, Alice, and I was there for you and the kids after. I don't deserve to be a glorified nanny. You made the mistake of leaving me for Alice, and yet I'm the only one here to help you. I have never needed anyone. I don't care what you think I should do or feel I should be. I am my own person, and I have never needed anyone. Now leave. Right now. I can't believe I ran into him in all the places of the world. He always hated Paris. Can't believe he is living here now. What are the odds that your ex-husband, a noted liar, lied yet again? You know, I always thought that he wasn't a liar, but someone who couldn't make up his mind. I don't care what happens from this day forward. So long as we keep James away from these kids, we'll be fine. And how do you plan to do that? By learning everything I can about James and what he's been up to these last few years. Both Alice and James are on the same page, yet riding different boats. What will happen when they find out about their children's master plan? Will their children succeed in bringing them together? But who is the culprit here? James or Alice or someone else? Hi, Jenny here. Hope you're loving our show, First Love Never Dies. Keep following us as we release new episodes of First Love Never Dies Season 1 on YouTube. If you wish to jump the queue and unlock all seasons of the audio series, you can install the Pocket FM app by clicking on the link in the description.